Percent of change part two. Dollar bills stacked up. I have no clue. I don't have any dollar bills sitting around. Or I don't know any dollar bills sitting around. Ah, come on, bro. Don't turn this into me. Come to class and ask for help. This is legit. I like it. And I also, I also like the logic here. You're saying, all right, this is this is actually a guess. I'm gonna guess that they're hundred dollar bills because they have to be a bigger amount of money for the stack to get smaller. Okay, there's actually a way for you to get the exact answer that you'll see on somebody else's paper later. But it is at least reasonable. And if you're going to make a guess, make sure you explain your reasoning for the guess. So this this person must have some sort of lawyer training because this is a this is a wonderful answer and the explanation is nice and thorough goes down so first the premise bill goes down by 60 percent and then the support Blah, this is what i did okay then the new premise 50 dollar bills how here's my support you want to steal this nice answer take a screenshot Okay, cool, cool, cool. This person has the situation set up properly, but you have forgotten that I said, if our percent change is negative, then we want our, or if our, if our percent change is down, then we want a negative number. So you actually want a negative 64. And again, you should have known something was wrong when you found out that we're more passengers after a decrease, right? Something is wrong if there's more passengers after a decrease. Also, you don't have any steps in between this and that, which I don't think that this is a solution even to this equation. So I don't get to help you figure out where you went wrong. Um, try to have your steps. Okay, this person's using an alternative method. Uh, it is legit. They're saying, I'm going to break this into two pieces. First, I'm going to find out what 64% of that number is. So I'm going to do this first. And then, after I have that answer, I will subtract it from the original. This is cool. Good answer. Worth stealing. Y'all got to stop doing this. This is some craziness. The formula says new minus old over old times 100 equals percent change. You can't take the percent and stick it in place of something that's not a percent in your formula. Stop doing stuff like that. That makes me think that you're uh, not reading any of the words or symbols and just like tossing numbers into a into a formula uh, and hoping, hoping and praying. That's like taking all the ingredients for your chocolate chip cookies and just like, just like scattering them around the the kitchen and hoping that they will come together to form delicious desserts. This guy doing the same thing, just randomly throwing numbers places. Let's let's stop that. Though there's a reason that I don't. I don't even use just letters for variables. I write out full words for variables so that you know where to put your different parts of your equation. All right, this guy, again, again. Clearly, this is a percent. Clearly, it goes in the percent change position of the formula, not in the old number position of the formula. This would be good. This is this is okay as an answer. It's wrong, but I accept the misreading of the problem. 32 miles per hour is the new speed. If she increases her speed by this much, she will be. So 32 is the new speed. So you actually want new to equal 32 and you don't know old. All right, and again, since you got old in two spots, you might want to use the alternative form, one of the alternative formulas that only has old in one spot for that problem. This person set it up properly. P 
properly, the answer might be right, but you didn't show me how you get from start to finish, so I will give you partial credit. Tell your steps. Be clear about what mathematics you're doing.